Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Drew Plays All the Games, this time with Potato Salad Game Jam. Potato Salad Game Jam was a game jam sort of inspired by that Kickstarter for Potato Salad that wanted $10 and got, like, $40,000 or some, like, big number. Um, so you just had to make a game that involved Potato Salad, because clearly the internet likes Potato Salad. There's six games. I know it's a small game jam. Um, normally I play bigger ones, but... I wanted to get a few of these small ones that had cool themes that I think should have gotten more games. So I'll be playing each game for a minute. If you like any of the games, there'll be links in the description so you can go play it further. Um, feel free to like this video. Feel free to comment and tell me which one's your favorite. Feel free to add me on Twitter. Well, follow me on Twitter. Twitch TV, player.me, or support me on Patreon. You know, all that stuff's in the description. And as always, thank you much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Next. Alright, first we're playing 10 second potato salad. Oh boy, summer vacation has finally come, and you get to sleep in for once. Isn't it great to wake up late on a Saturday? Hey, isn't today a family barbecue? You didn't forget to make the potato salad, did you? You did? Better make some potato salad quick. Use your potato cannon to blast potatoes through the fence in your backyard to make the potato salad. Make the best potato salad you can by applying as much dressing as seasoning as possible to unskeather, unscathered potato. Control your dog with your mouse and protect the potatoes from birds by clicking on them, not working it. Sorry, but don't send him into the rock or tree. Activate the dressing and seasonings with the ender button when the potato closes in on them. Alright. So we're filling up this can and we want to get it in the green probably. Alright, so this side is protecting the potato. I like the potato. I don't know what that was. Potato salad and like dressing and chip. Maybe we hit it too hard. You scored negative a bunch of points. Do you want to try again? Well, next. Next, we're playing a game that doesn't quite fit on my screen called Potato Salad Man. Controls. A and D to walk. Space to jump. E to interact. Shift to transform. Shift returns to where you deformed. Okay, controls. Reforms you at a your new location. Yeah, shift, control. As the great inventor of the mass rearranger, it is only natural that you have your own... The you have your own in your kitchen, so why not make some potato salad for lunch? What could possibly go wrong? Also, arrow keys also work. Yeah. Oh shit. My face is now potato salad. That didn't go well due to a tiny problem with the mass rearranger. You've been turned into potato salad. Go to your lab and try to use the mass reshaper to fix this one. How could I even see into my lab? Oh god. So that's what happens. I can turn into like... Oh, shit. Alright, JK. I wanna use this one and then shift. That's pretty cool. Is he on his fault though? Oh, this is pretty interesting. I need to like be on both at once. How how would I do that if I wasn't made out of potato salad though? Alright, next. Next we're playing bottomless pits and potato salad. Status alive. Potato salad revived to zero. Potato salad rated 25. Lays at the bottom of the pit. Potato salad detector reads. Nearest pit is two. Nearest potato salad is two. Yeah, I didn't read this one. Thanks for playing bottomless pit potato salads. Games played with the player. You want a grid of bottomless pits and potato salad. The goal is to retrieve all of the potato salads and avoid falling into a bottomless pit. There is completely dark and only instrument you have is a laser guide. Blah, blah, blah. Detector will tell you how far away to the nearest bottomless pit. Blah, 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 Back. Okay. Here's potato salad is 2.24. 2.24 what? Go north. Took north. One turn. Okay. So... Never eat soggy weenies, so we need to go back. Okay. 
Oh, shit. Need to go southwest. Do we get potato salad? You find a potato salad. Yes. Ooh. I died. Next. Next, we're playing the Infinite Potato Complex. Let's look at controls real quick. Yeah, let's play. Oh, this is gonna be my favorite game. This looks really nice. We're firing potatoes at people. I like how it's like, I like trains, but a potato a shop, not a shop. Stop jumping. Can I even jump? It's my hand. I like the graphics very much. Can I not kill you? Okay. There we get quite a few more potatoes. Let's back up a bit. This is really nice. Science question mark. Wednesday. The caffeine hunt. Not doing too well in health. Alright, next. Ooh, what's happening? Is that it? Next. Next, we're playing Last Meal. It says I was knocked out and taken by a group. They chained you to a chair. And now they're forcing you to ingest poison, potato salad laced with poison. Of all the things, they seem to be to intend on killing, but they will wait for you to die first. If you can get rid of the poison without eating it, pour it somewhere when they aren't looking. Maybe then, after they die, you can get away. All right. So looking around, we can use WSD, find and so interact, cancel, get it. I don't actually have a mouse wheel, so I'm really happy that they, you know, gave an altern alternative option. They're all really staring at me. Look, there's a dog. The dog won't come. He seems distracted. I can't reach that. Can't just throw it off the table. Can't reach that. Got a sock. Can I throw a sock at the dog? The dog won't come. I'm not very good with these types of games. Can I put some in the sock? Can I just eat it? I don't know. Seems really interesting though. Next. Lastly, we're playing the game Grandma's Recipe. The world as it is now is similar to our real modern day world. If the story took here told here took place in your hometown, it would be about as exciting as a day in your life. The story isn't about you, though, or your hometown. This, is, this isn't a real-life simulator featuring a gibberish-speaking character that needs to study cooking before making dinner. This is the story of an island off the coast of nowhere. This island has had an interesting history in the time it has existed. Once a thriving utopia, it became devoid of much daily needed substance. Once the island collectively decided vegetables were gross, specifically, the island decided as a whole that potato salad would never be consumed again. This led to the island's abortium to become upkept as the main thing growing there was potatoes once the island gave 
That potato salad they threw in the towel in regards to all things potatoes, the auditorium became descript and unusable much to the chargon of the future generations that grew up in a world where potato salad no longer existed. Shortly after this island cast aside potatoes, the islanders began to consume ham and bacon at alarming rates so much so that the island's population of pigs became all but extinct. Little by little, the island was causing their own downfall. The story being told today is of a young citizen who chose to challenge all notions, who chose to make the f one food of the islanders no longer thought was possible, potato salad. Why didn't they add bacon to the potato salad? First, you have to answer something, and be honest. Who do you want to play as? Is female. You have no belief in the story name. The right name? Well, actually, we're gonna put hero for lack of time. Grandma, I think I've decided something. I want to make potato salad. Oh no. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. That's wonderful. My child is growing up. I have a recipe for it lying around here somewhere. Let's see. I don't see it on the table. I'm sure it was over here somewhere. Oh, ho, ho. Here it is. There's a pot of boiling water over here also. I wonder why it's doing that. Grandma turned the oven off. That isn't safe. Nonsense. I always have it like this. It is safety precaution for my hunger. What if I ever get hungry? You wouldn't walk around with a starve, hmm? Fine. Keep it on, I suppose. I'll need it for my potato salad anyway. So what does the recipe call for? Grandma, oh ho ho, it appears you need four key ingredients to make this particular recipe. There's potato, which is used to be blah blah blah. Ham, except all the pigs are dead. Cilantro, which is a secret. So it's a secret thing. Alright, four ingredients is truly a journey to be told my grandma's history books. I have asthma. I don't know why I thought it would be up in my bedroom. I feel like potatoes would be pretty easy, even though they're outlawed. This game looks pretty nice, however, time's up. Thank you very much for watching this video and such. I appreciate it. Bye!